style. Je Studio Fashion Editor, Georgina Evans here. I have found a little quiet corner, um, I hope it's not too echoey, um, to discuss Marnie Autumn Winter 19. Um, women's wear, I should say. Very, very exciting for me because I'm a huge fan of Francesca Rizzo. Um, and the invitation was much like it was for men's. I haven't got that the right way around, there you go. So um, a cube, just as it was for the menswear show, and this is an indicator of the set. So we were back where we were for men's, um, in a giant cube with wall-to-wall -wall speakers. And for the menswear, this was very much a, a mood of teenager and um, kind of rock and roll, 90s Kurt Cobain. Um, but for women's wear, the press release reads, neuroerotic, fanta-erotic escape game. So much like um, Crystal Maze, if you're British, you'll know that one. Um, you can do escape pods and try and figure your way out. So the speaker cube for women's wear becomes this um, container that you have to find your way out. And the idea behind this collection is that you find your way out through a series of adv sexual advances. So um, the way you move, the way the hormone you give off, the your body language, um, is that sexual, is that um, aggressive, what are you trying to say? And through that, you can escape um, the cube. Um, and so, with that in mind, music starts and lots of kind of meowing and cat references, which is a bit of fun because Francesco actually doesn't have a cat. He has a dog, a very beautiful dog. Um, but apparently he's always been obsessed with cats. And so that's where that came in. And that also ties in with this slightly sexual undertone that we've got going on here. So um, on, the, on a lot of the garments, the pre predomin predominantly throughout the collection, there were these... Um, they looked as if uh, chains that you would use for pets, so that that's where the cat kind of reference comes from. Um, and they were layered in vests or around the waist as belts. Um, and there were little novelty um, name tags, as you would get with a pet, kind of bones and such, um, which was really fun. So slight undertone of cats and pets, but also a slight undertone of bondage and chains and... Um, a little bit naughty, a little bit, a little bit nice there. So that was really, really great. That actually continued later on in the collection. There were some really beautiful um, silk dresses that were high neck and low back, so very high and very deep V on the back. Um, and those were peppered with ornamental little items. So some of them were in keeping with cats and pets, and some of them looked a little bit like Prince Albert piercings. Um, so a, a really nice duality of this um, kind of fun meow meow, and then also. Um, actually a little bit kinky um, and the clothes in general were really um, lovely and adding to this whole idea that your body language is what's going to help you escape this room so heavy heavy on the pleating I would say a large majority of the collection was pleated um, skirts were layered as well so to me this kind of this kind of felt if the more you have on the more pleats you have the more you move the more obvious it is what body motion you're trying to give off so the more pleats I have on the skirt the more you can see my hips sway and the more you might take a, um, take an interest in me or the more you might understand the body language I'm trying to project. So I thought that was really interesting. I loved um, the kind of cerebralness of that. Um, Fashion-wise, pleats were layered on top of each other, um, but some short at the back and some long at the front. So you kind of had a double pleat situation and then... Um, it, so if you lifted it the front up, you'd have another skirt underneath and that skirt might be long at the front and short at the back. Um, but all very silky, very flowing. And actually, Francesca was saying backstage that those can also act as curtains. So what do you do with curtains? You open them. Um, so there's a little bit of a provocativeness, provocativeness there. Um, when you open a skirt, you open your legs or, you know, something a little naughty, um, which I thought was fantastic. There was also a lot of tweed... Um, I think it was tweed or houndstooth um, jackets, which were spliced at the shoulder um, to reveal the lining, but intentionally to reveal the lining, not um, not Margiela-esque, messy, just very beautiful pink trims here and here, um, and very boxy as well. So those also kind of tell you what you're saying with your body and your language, and this kind of peak in, bet peak in between is a little... A little nod to say you might not fully understand what what the mood I'm giving off to you. Um, a bit frivolous, a bit fun. I really I really enjoyed those moments. Um, hair was also also the casting was really amazing. I should mention there was a dancer whose name has escaped me already, but um, some eight something Harvey. I can't remember. I was really um, impressed to see them, and actually I think it's Walter Pierce that does the casting. I'll have to check that, but um, I was really impressed, and they they all had they all brought this different personality and their own body language and own sexual energy um, to the clothes, which I thought was really wonderful. Um, 
I must admit, I was at first when I was looking at this collection, I thought, oh, is it as good as the last women's wear one? Because I was absolutely blown away by that. And there was such feminine, womanly shapes that time. Um, and there were feminine shapes here. Um, all the, there was a lot of focus on the waist. And actually, there were moments where I th thought it reminded me of Prada that we hadn't seen too long ago. Um, but actually, and that makes perfect sense because Francesco was at Prada for a, just under a decade, I believe. Um, so that it's it's in his blood. <laughs> um, but I do think that that it was a really beautiful collection. I, I didn't give it enough credit at the first couple of looks. I thought, oh, actually, I'm not sure how I feel about this. But the, it was actually the repetitiveness of the looks that I really liked, as if you're trying to hammer home this mood, this this sexual energy, and, hey, pay attention to me. Or actually, when you are in an escape room, you might try the same thing a couple of times until you get it right. And I liked that there was a repetitiveness in the pleating. Um, so that was really good. I, I really love the narrative. I think it's really fun. Um, um, I like the provocative element too. I'm just checking if there's any, because also there's always lovely elements in um, Francesco's press releases. They're very poetic, so I'm trying to find a little nugget to read you, but engage with them. Oh, so talking about erogenous zones and yeah, so much of what I said already. Um, and also the boots I should definitely mention. Um, really chunky. They've called them stovepipe boots and lace-up booties, which is really um, lovely. And much like Prada again, we've got this kind of stomping great um base level to then have this floatiness up above up, uh, up above um yeah so i thought it was a really wonderful collection i'm i'm so so ever impressed with francesco and i just love the way um he imbues this narrative with the collection but also this collection particularly often actually often sometimes um you look at the clothes instantly you feel the narrative and this collection i think part of the success is that you look at the clothes and you don't know the narrative when you're taken out of the music and without the press release, the clothes just stand on their own as really beautiful items and a really beautiful collection. But now that you know this narrative, there starts to be a little, a little bit more. And I like that there's those options, whereas for the menswear, certainly, and for the women's wear, um, there's no denying that there was definitely definitely a theme. Um, but yeah, beautiful nonetheless. I was, I was really impressed. It took me a little while to get there, but now that I'm there... Um, I really love it. I am so excited to every time we go to Armani show. I just, I can't wait to see what Francesco does. And there's just so much energy and passion and the way his mind works. Um, backstage, he was just reeling off so many different references and Bauhaus and this poet, this dancer, um, this idea, this cat and all that. And it's just, it's impossible to keep up with how fast his brain works. And I love that this collection is just a snapshot of what his what his um, brain was thinking of in that moment. So congratulations, Francesco. Congratulations, Marnie. A wonderful show. Um, really beautiful. I can't wait to see it up close and personal and see it in the stores. Um, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, look to YouTube if you want to see more of these live reviews. Um, if you want to see the collection as I talk, head to Show Studio and you can see um, this live review alongside the collection images. Um, I'll see you guys very soon. Lots more to come. And again, make sure you're subscribed.